Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So as you might know, I'm really interested in productivity, optimization, and efficiency of the regular mundane tasks so that I can focus and channelize all my time into more creative and meaningful tasks where all the creative and tangible output lies. And one particular tweak has really helped me optimize my efficiency and productivity in a lot of meaningful ways. And that tweak is keyboard shortcuts. And I think it's really important for all of us to just think about these keyboard shortcuts and give them more importance than we naturally tend to because they compound over a year and the amount of time that each keyboard shortcut can save us over an entire year or over an extended period of time is significantly more than we expect. So let's say that a keyboard shortcut of opening a new tab in Chrome saves you about two seconds per minute. And let's say you don't know that you can open a new tab by command D. So what you do is you go to your cursor, you hover to the top right and you click that plus button and eventually you open a new tab and then you start typing. On average, you would be wasting about two seconds per minute just doing this particular task. And on any given day, we have eight working hours, which means that we have 480 minutes in a given day. And assuming that there are 240 work days in a year, if you multiply all these things, two wasted seconds per minute times 480 minutes times 240 days in a year, you essentially get 64 hours, which could have been saved had you just known how to use a particular shortcut in Chrome. And obviously the two seconds might be an overestimate or underestimate for a lot of people, but if you prorate and if you take the collective output of toggling between tabs, opening new tabs and highlighting things and going to the search bar in one click and so on and so forth, all of that would essentially add up to in my opinion, two seconds per minute. So that's why this calculation really shocked me when I became interested in how can keyboard shortcuts increase our efficiency. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two kinds of shortcuts and most of these are geared towards Macs. So if you're a Windows user, I'm pretty sure you can find alternatives or equivalents for the same shortcuts, but this video is primarily catered to the ones who own Apple devices because, well, I have an Apple device. So I'm gonna be dividing this video into two sections. First, the Chrome shortcuts, and second, the system shortcuts. And I'm gonna be focusing on the ones that I happen to discover by chance and some things that have been really helpful for me in particular. And I know that you can find a ton of these shortcuts out there on the web if you just Google, but the idea of this video is to inspire the importance of using keyboard shortcuts, trying to play with the keyboard more and showing the ones that have been the most useful to me at least. So let's jump right in. I have a few dummy tabs open over here in a new Chrome window. I'm gonna show you the key shortcuts that really help me improve my Chrome workflow efficiency and productivity. The first one is obviously opening a new tab, which is Command T. Command W then shuts the tab and gets you to the tab that you were originally at. The second shortcut that I found to be extremely helpful, which I just chanced upon, was toggle tabs. And normally what I would have done is I would have either used Command 1, Command 2, 3, 4 or 5 to toggle between the first 8 or 9 tabs or so. But there is a much faster way to toggle between tabs and that is command option and the arrow keys. And just doing this instead of having to hover my cursor around to specific tabs is something that I find extremely efficient because it has essentially taken off a lot of friction from my entire Chrome user experience. The third shortcut is how to get into the search bar of Chrome directly. Normally when I'm say doing my research or looking up something, let's say I'm reading this article, I would have, if I wanted to change, either used the setting on the touch bar to get to this particular link. But now what I just do is press Command L, which directly gets me to the search bar. And then I could just type in another query. And that is something that is extremely useful once you just get into the habit of doing it on a regular basis. The other extremely useful command is to go back and forward, not by hovering the cursor around to these arrows, but by using command and the toggle keys to actually do that. And lastly, another Chrome shortcut that really helped me was Command Shift and J just to open my downloads folder. And the reason I find this extremely useful is because whenever I'm downloading attachments or just PDFs of files from the web, I usually have to go to this particular window, click on downloads and then 
open up stuff. But now with Command Shift J, I can easily open the Downloads tab and scroll through and just open the right attachment in Chrome itself. So that was for the Chrome shortcuts. Now let's go to some system shortcuts. And these shortcuts are also really cool because it has just made my experience of using a Mac much more pleasurable. So I'm on this screen now. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Control and one of the arrow keys left or right to switch to a new desktop. And I find this to be extremely cool because instead of having to use my three fingers, now I can just use these pretty cool shortcuts to go to a new window. So I'm gonna do that. So now I'm over here. So that was the first shortcut. The second shortcut is showing the dock. Oftentimes when we want more real estate on our screen, we tend to hide the dock and then we have to hover to the dock and wait for it to show up. And that second for which you have to wait actually need not be there because you could just press Command Option and D to show the dock and Command Option and D again to hide the dock. And I find this to be a really efficient, cool, smooth process because whenever you're working in full screen windows or you have you don't have the dock easily available, instead of hovering your mouse all the way down to the bottom and then waiting for that half a second to, for, the, for the dock to show up, it's really much more efficient to just press Command Option D to show the dock and then hide the dock again. The other shortcut I found to be extremely useful, and I'm pretty sure most of us already know about this, is Command, Shift, and 3 to take a screenshot of the entire screen, and Command, Shift, and 4 to take a screenshot of a particular segment of the screen. I'm pretty sure most of us would already be acquainted with this, but if not, I think this is a really cool shortcut to know to immensely smoothen your workflow for a period of time. So that was all that I really had for this video. Just a few shortcuts to make our workflow more efficient and increase our productivity. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you found this video in the comments below or just reach out to me and I'd love to learn. Thank you so much for watching.